Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Four Mile Ranch YouTube channel. So just a real quick video for you today. A lot of guys take their AR-15s and they are using drop-in triggers and with good reason. It's super convenient. It's a quick and easy upgrade for your AR-15 rifle, but there's something I wanted to point out that you may not have considered. So right here we have a CMC drop-in trigger and it also has the CMC anti-walk pin kit. Now, why is this important or why am I highly recommending you to get these? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this lower that also has a drop-in trigger. This one's by Rise Ornament, another trigger that I'm testing out. But right here, you can already kind of see, hopefully, that this pin moves around a lot. It does not have an anti-walk pin in place. Now, this is at no fault of the trigger whatsoever. Let me just demonstrate why this is a big deal. So, obviously, there's a lot of play, there's a lot of movement. I literally just barely tapped, and there you go. You heard that pin fall right out. Now, here's where this gets a little interesting, or something that you may not have realized. When you have your mil-spec trigger in here, it kind of serves a dual role with your standard pins. So. Not only is your spring acting as just that, a spring, it's actually holding in place your pin. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's little notches on the pin. So if you take a look in your AR-15 that you may have, if it has a mil-spec trigger in it, you'll notice that these springs actually slide right into that notch on the inside of your gun, and it prevents the pin, and it is under tension, from being able to walk out like that. Now, when you just take a drop-in trigger, and because it is so easy to just, again, point made right there, that's how easy those pins can come out. With your drop-in trigger, there isn't those springs, and I can't get this out without removing my grip and the safety and all that, but just bear with me here, follow me, guys. It's just a straight, you know, straight hole, straight through. There are no springs in there containing your mil-spec pin. So the simple and fast recommendation to alleviate that problem, potential reliability problems with your pins walking out, is just an anti-walk pin kit. So the ones that I typically go with, and like I said, it's already on my lower that has that CMC trigger, but I'm going to be putting one of these on my other lower. And this is just an example of what an anti-walk pin kit. This cost me only about $15. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. And so essentially what it does is it just takes these two pins that are otherwise smooth, and it pretty much just screws onto the ends on both sides to where they can't walk out, they are locked in place. Now, you don't only have to use this on a drop-in trigger. If you want to enhance the reliability of your mil-spec trigger, you can also do so with these. So like I said, pretty short and simple, but there you have it, guys. This is why I recommend using an anti-walk pin kit, especially if you are going to be using drop-in triggers for your AR-15s. So as always, guys, thanks for stopping by the Four More Ranch YouTube channel, and have a good one.